Hello gentlemen, I am TV Naik from VMAC Designers, Bangalore. We are solution providers in design automation. Design automation can be implemented for any product stream which has a defined design procedure with known or derivable variations. This demo is of triple eccentric butterfly wall design automation. This demo contains an individual form to each driving component to input or to edit design data. These forms include all the information or data needed with limitations. The designer need to verify and select or edit to arrive a better product. The current form allows to select the type, size, class to define a precise model. While selecting individual data, you can witness the model number is automatically updated. It has one more important data that is seat angle. Once model is selected to move, to move on to the next form, it need to be select the next button designed at bottom right hand side. Next, seat design data form opens up. In this, port and seat thickness are the main data to edit. Also, you can see by uncheck the box previous to laminated title, the material se section display for selection of material for non-laminated seat types. If you check that box, it displays SS and Graphile as a material for a laminated seat. Now, on bottom side, you can see previous and next buttons are available for selections. By using them, it is possible to move to and fro any number of times till complete editing of accurate data input. Next, laminated seat forum opens up, which is optional and it allows to select number of graphal layers if the data is available to edit. Next forum is for retainer design data. In this form, it is possible to select material and retainer thickness. Main data required is retainer screw size and number of screws, which are selectable from the given drop down menu. Along with this, one help is also provided in block, block fonts below. It shows recommended screw size and maximum number of screws can be accommodated in the assembly. If you change the screw size, the below maximum quantity gets updated automatically, which provides a error free flexibility to design while selecting a required size and quantity within designer limit. Next, it moves to the disk design data form. In this, it allows to select material, disk thickness, stem diameter and stem offset. Along with that, it provides the help of load disk load, maximum disk load on disk surface and minimum required disk, thick, disk thickness for that particular load and the maximum torque to operate also minimum stem diameters in two different materials. This display torque gets updated automatically if we edit the stem diameter and or stem offset. This contains a editable design pressure also and depend on customer requirement. Next form is of body design data. Body construction is driven by many components. So, all related components depending on the construction type 
are available to select or to edit depending on the designer need. In all the forms, few boxes are having modify option and few are not editable. These are driven by editable values. Body design form is having too many sections for different components. The reason is body is driven by many components and components by body data. In this one, many helps and ready data is available for easy and effortless selection and edit of the required data. Next, we move on to the stem design data form. In this, stem diameter is already previously selected in the de while de designing disk. Here, we can select the key length and depending on the more editable shear strength of the key material. Depending on the stem diameter, a standard recommended key width is selected and displayed already displayed in the form. Next form, we move on to gland flange design data. To design gland flange, we need to know the low, maximum load on the gland flange. And we have to calculate the minimum thickness required. Depending on that, designer can select the suitable thickness on derived data. These data are readily available in the form to facilitate the designer to select the required data instantly without waste of time. From here on, we are moving on to model generation. In this process, all the required documents are generated. From this second onwards, the entire control is passed on to the utility. The utility will take the responsibilities of generating entire documentation depending on the data edited by designer till this point. All the activities you are witnessing on the screen is of for model generation. This is the actual time required to generate all the design documentation including 3D models, 2D drawings, calculations and any other system documentation required. Now sit back, relax and watch the document generation and the store saved a document in its own place. All the documents have saved in a different folders. 3D models are saved in a model uh, folder, drawing, 2D drawings are saved in a drawing folder, calculations are saved in a calculation folder.